in this quick video we are going to explain about this playbook this video is part of the AWS S3 uh, an Ansible uh, series so we are uh, collecting all the examples where you can use Ansible to work with AWS S3 buckets for uh, automating all the tasks like download upload and um, uh, listing the objects etc so uh, if you are directly seeing this video in YouTube uh, the article link would be at the description please go ahead and read so let's go ahead uh, into this video so uh, we are seeing this uh, playbook that you are seeing right here uh, and the purpose of this video is to explain uh, how we are going to download objects from AWS S3 buckets uh, recursively so uh, to download a simple file uh, it would be uh, an easy job with Ansible you would be able to just uh, use the Amazon AWS S3 module and be able to uh, give the dist and um, the bucket and the file name what you would like to get just something like this uh, the object name and the destination and all of it but when it comes to downloading um, the all the files in part of as part of the directory so uh, i hope you might already know in aws console uh, also there is no such feature to be able to download directory so in aws cli there is an option hyphen hyphen recursive so there uh, you would be able to download it so we have uh, give it a thought and we try to accomplish the same with ansible as well and this is what i have uh, come up with and if there is any uh, better ideas and approaches i would be glad to know please uh, post it in comments yeah so let's go ahead so this playbook what we are basically trying to do is we are just creating two uh, new variables like uh, in fact three variables so the first ones are like uh, directories and files it's just a empty uh, sequence or array or list you can think of it so we are actually initializing this uh, two uh, sequence or list like directories and files which is empty empty array empty list and uh, there is a dist location which is a destination for our files to be uh, copied to and uh, we have a couple of tasks here we will go over one one by one so uh, the first task here is like we need to uh, get the list of files so uh, since the recursive option is not here uh, what we are actually trying to do here with this playbook is that we would be listing the directories and files uh, we'll be actually listing the directory and we will be separating the directories and files and we will be storing them in an array or list and uh, we would be iterating over this uh, directories and files and uh, try to download so uh, also we need to uh, as we are going through directories we need to create these uh, directories in our uh, destination location for example let's say that you have a, a directory structure something like this 2021 slash uh, 12 slash 26 or something like that when you are trying to get an object it would not be the directories would not be created so uh, it because uh, the uh, simple ansible get uh, would not be able to fetch a directory as a just like a directory so it would be able to fetch a file an individual file not a directory so uh, in order to do that so we need to come up with this way so we need to create these directory now first what we are doing is we are actually listing the files i mean get the list of files uh, it includes uh, the directories as well so we have a prefix which is 2021 12 26 it will list out all the files in this directory and it will save it in a register variable list result once we have this one uh, next we will be moving it to the next task which is uh, get a list of directories out of this register variable so now we have a, a, a combined list with the uh, i mean the uh, the output of list aws s3 list and it would be saved in register variable now we are going to split the directories and files separately so uh, here we are using some kind of a complex um, uh, uh, how to say ansible complex uh, filters and uh, jinja to uh, expressions uh, here so what we are doing exactly here is uh, I you know that set fact is used to uh, dynamically create variables 
uh, like a just like a task so we are creating a new fact which is a directories uh, which is already declared so what we are doing here is if the item is uh, not none so i mean before we come to this directories i think we need to understand what exactly this does so this is a looping statement so what we are doing is uh, the list result uh, the previous the first task would give a list of uh, files in the directories in this value list result dot s3 underscore keys so maybe i'll uh, just show it you what exactly uh, we are doing so i'll just comment all this out i'll try to execute this playbook ansible playbook and aws s3 so ah okay i could have used uh, hyphen ivv so it would not be showing give me a minute so yeah i'm just putting some verbose here so you can see yeah so you can see here that all the files which are available here uh, including the directory that we are actually using uh, would be coming under this uh, key s3 underscore keys okay so and uh, this is a key and this is a value and uh, so we need to take out this s3 underscore keys uh, to get the list of files from the previous one so let's come to the second task here yeah and uh, this is a list of directories what we are basically doing here is we are going through this s3 underscore keys this one which has a list of directories and files and uh, we are trying to do a uh, regex search uh, so jinja 2 doesn't have any uh, proper regular expression search so i had to use an ansible filter here so otherwise we would have been able to do a for statement here which is not possible uh, or maybe if there is a way please let me know so here I have used a map uh, with a regular expression search map is nothing but uh, applying a filter any filter that you keep here uh, on a sequence so this is a sequence that we are going to apply regular expression search and um, we would have some kind of values returned from this so uh, now uh, let's see uh, maybe we can go one by one I'll just clear this and execute it once again and see uh, what is the value that we are getting as out of uh, dictionaries so you can see here uh, get the list of dictionaries so uh, there are one uh, actually what happens is in let's look at this one so this is a directory all others are files which doesn't end with slash so that's what the regular expression search is looking for so we are looking for uh, items in this s3 underscore keys which ends with uh, slash at the end so which represents the directory so um, we know that this is the only uh, directory out of this s3 underscore uh, keys sequence and list so we are going to select only that so for example if you can see that uh, all of these would be like only this is item all other items are none so this listen like whatever you are seeing here would go like each item would be passed on to this and uh, the value of this would be none when it is not a directory so that is why we are saying if the item is not none you can see here so for files it is automatically saying none right so if the item is not none okay add directories add that element into the directories like this is a way that you can add a new element into a list so it is more like uh, you can think of it like a directories dot append in python syntax if you want to add a new element you uh, use this right in um, uh, python so you can use this like directories dot append okay so we are adding a new element here uh, with this uh, syntax so this is how we are adding a, a new element if it is not if it is not an item just use whatever already there like just repass the same directory so that uh, it the none is not getting added so at the end uh, we would have only the directories uh, the directories saved the legitimate directories saved into this directories list so uh, maybe we can add one more uh, debug statement here name or maybe we can just do debug uh, var equal to directories okay let's see what is the value of this directories and see it out it should have only the directory 2021 12 slash 6 yeah so this is how we are extracting the directories first so now uh, we are going to uh, list out the file 
uh, not the directories we are going to exclude them so now we are taking out the list of files and adding it to the files uh, sequence or array so here uh, reg, reg reg search the same but we are using a, a, a different syntax which which says that if it doesn't end with slash consider all of them but doesn't end with slash so uh, by default it would be considered as a file so uh, we are just going with this regular expression search right here and it would be added into files so the same thing that we are doing if item is not none okay so we can re-execute this and you can see that uh, the first one uh, I mean the for the directory the item would be none for all the files the item would be some value the file name would be there right so here uh, except the first item all other items would con uh, would have the value so that's what we are uh, doing a, a, a small if statement here if the item is not none uh, add the file name into the array files okay so that's what we are doing here so let's do a one more uh, uh, debug statement here let's add it and see what is the value of it uh, it is files right yeah var equal to files let's list it out yeah you can see now we have separated files and directories now we have files in a individual a separate uh, a list and uh, we have uh, uh, directories in a separate list so uh, an array so now we can uh, move on to the next level which is we need to create some kind of before we can receive the objects we need to create these directories in our destination uh, location which is here in uh, downloads location so uh, what we are going to do is like i have chosen this uh, location as part of uh, my this location or maybe i can just do uh, the current directory itself but anyways so here uh, i do not have the 2021 let's try to list it out so i let's see if i have 2021 here so it's not there you can see that there is no such directory the parent directory itself is not there which means so that uh, if i try to just download the objects it will not be uh, downloaded right so what i'm doing here is i'm just going to create the directory first like which is 2021 12 slash 16 so i'm going to iterate over the directories which we have collected uh, in this playbook i mean in this task and we have saved it here so we are going to uh, uh, go through the list of directories and create them using mkdar hyphen p so um, now let us execute this once again and uh, yeah it this time it will create the directory so let's do a you can see that uh, the create directories first is in yellow which is which means that it is changed uh, let's try now you can see this right so we have a directory yeah and then it has created 12 and it has also created 26 yeah so you can see it correct yeah so this is how um, we are first creating the directories which are necessary for us to be able to keep the files and uh, i'm just going through the next phase which is downloading the files now we have the directories in place now we can go ahead and start downloading the files and uh, there is a one more debug message that i have kept here uh, to display what this get result uh, is uh, displaying so it's like uh, when once the if the get is successful it will say get successfully complete something like that uh, i mean get operation complete so that i just kept it there so now let's go and execute the entire playbook so it should be able to download uh, all these image files that we have seen uh, right here uh, where are this we have listed it down somewhere yeah you can see that uh, these are the files mm, yeah so these are the files that we are going to download now let me execute this yeah you can see that uh, it's going on each file and downloading it one by one yeah it says all items completed yeah that is which means that uh, it goes through all the files and it has it has downloaded all the files so all items completed that's the message now uh, we are good now let us try to do a tree on this directory that i had uh, 2021 
uh, I do not have a tree but I can do lsrrt downloads 2021 yeah you can see here we have with the 2021 directory in which there is a 12 and then there is a 26 and I, under the 26 we have all these five files placed yeah so this is how we are downloading uh, a directory recursively in ansible and uh, this is uh, how it is done with the, uh, some uh, list of objects and uh, using some map function and jinja2 filters so uh, i hope it helps uh, we'll meet in a second video another video so um, stay subscribed and uh, thank you